Hello, and welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a collective card game in Unity. In this video, we're going to add a shuffle feature to our game so that every time we press it, it will randomly shuffle our cards in a different order. Let's begin. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to here to our canvas. We're going to right click right on the word canvas, and we're going to go down to UI, and then we're going to go to button. And now this button we're going to call shuffle and then we're gonna drop down this arrow right here and go to the text and we're gonna type shuffle here also and then we're gonna click up on our shuffle button click here so we have a uh, command of transforming it to a different location and we're just gonna raise this up here like this just above our card for right now for when we shuffle So next we're going to go into our player deck C sharp script and we're going to create another public list just like this only it will have a different name. This one will be called container and it's going to equal new list and same as the other one. It's card inside the brackets because that's where we're getting the information from our list from just like everything we've been doing before in the card database. So down here, we're going to create a public void and we're going to call it shuffle parentheses. Oops. Brackets. And then we're going to say for int i equals zero semicolon i less than deck size semicolon and then i plus plus and then we're going to create brackets for our for loop here and we're going to put container at zero and is going to equal deck i and semicolon and then an int which is going to be called random index and that's going to equal a random range dot range and that range is going to be, its parameters are going to be i and deck size. And at the end of that will be a semicolon and deck i is going to equal deck, oops, not random range, random index at the end of that a semicolon and then deck random index and is going to equal container zero and at the end a semicolon let's just go up here and we got two include our int deck size and now that i see it i also forgot to put a parentheses at the end of this just like up here and it would also help to spell the word random correctly so we created our new list up here and we have this public int now called deck size and you can use deck size down here instead of 40 and you can also use a number here actually it will work just the same uh, I just assigned a, a name to the variable. And so what is happening is that we're, we're creating an increment here. And last time we talked about how things increment up here. And so it's starting at zero and it's going all the way to the size of the deck, whatever we want that to be, which we're probably going to make 40. And so it will go up to one less than the deck size, which means that because it starts at zero and goes to 39 and that's 40 items. 
So our container, which is our list here, it's it's part of the, it's at starting at zero and it's going to be equaling to our deck starting at I, which increments. And then we're also taking this random range. We want a random number and that I, the increment and the deck size are being used. And then we're going to take these and we're going to define deck with the random index. And then we're going to say that the deck random in index is actually going to equal our container in the last line. So let's hit save and go here and compiled with no errors. So now we're going to go up here. We're going to click on our shuffle button and you're going to go here and it's going to say on click list is empty. You know, click this little plus sign here and it's going to say that it needs an object here. And the object we're going to put in here is our player deck. So we put the player deck in here, runtime only, and it says no function because we have to, it's got to know when we push this button, what function is it performing? So we want it to use the function shuffle from the player deck. So we're going to click on this and we're going to go down to player deck and it's going to give us all the functions that are available to it. We're going to click on the shuffle function that we wanted. And now we're going to go over to our player deck and we're going to go way down here. And we have our last element here and we have also our container. Yours might be closed like that. Just open it like that. We're actually going to have one element in our container. And down here, we got to fix our deck size. We want to make that 40 right there. And we're going to hit play. And now here, our deck has been created. And now when I hit the shuffle button, now it's randomly changed. And we should have changes in some way every time we hit the button. So now every time we shuffle, we get a random deck of cards. So that's it for today. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and support me on Patreon. And a very big special thanks to all my Patreon supporters. All links are in the description below. See you next time.